turnovers come in bunches. They're week to week. We had our hands on balls last week. We didn't catch them. Uh, I thought defensively, yeah, we set the tone um, with this whole ball game, getting turnovers. Um, I thought we were a little leaky in our runoff, uh, run defense. Yeah, uh, but, uh, you know, that was the big interception to start the second half, and we gave it right back to him, let him back in the game. But, uh, and then Carlton was a great interception to uh, ice this thing with Leonard's run. Next question will be from Ed and Cena. Hey, Bruce, I was wondering if you could talk about the uh, the contribution, obviously, the running game today, and especially with Fournette, uh, with, with, his, with everything he was able to do down the stretch. Yeah, it's nice to have a hell of a player with fresh legs in the fourth quarter. You know, uh, our, our guys did a good job, I thought, of mixing the backs in. Shady did a great job catching balls, making first downs. Um, I know he wants that one back that he dropped for a touchdown, but uh, he'll make some more in the future. Uh, but, yeah, the running game, I thought our line blocked well all day. And, uh, you know, Rojo, we fumbled that ball, and that was we can't have that on a handoff. Uh, but uh, overall, Leonard's contribution, was, as he keeps practicing and learning and doing some things, uh, we'll keep getting more and more touches. And, Bruce, what about um, the, the first half that Mike Evans had? Obviously, you talked about trying to get him the ball a little bit more. Obviously, you did in, uh, in that first half. Yeah, I mean, uh, we got to do that every week. You know, we can never let Mike just sit still and, and be be somewhere where everybody can double cover him. And uh, you know, Tom did a great job of finding him, especially deep down the middle. And uh, again, that was a, a good design by Byron to uh, to set that play up with Mike in the middle. Next question will be from Jenna Lane. Hey, Coach, what can you say about the performance of your quarterback today to go into New Orleans and get a loss last week and, and to rebound the way he did today with a multi-touchdown? Uh, I, I think he has a pretty good history uh, mm -hmm. of that. And, uh, you know, this game should have never gotten to as close as it did. Um, but uh, we let him back in. But I thought he played outstanding. His leadership on the sidelines was, was great and uh, put us in the right play, a number of different audibles, and uh, played really, really well. What kinds of things was he doing on the sidelines? Uh, you mentioned leadership. You can't, uh, you can't, without censorship, you can't talk about it. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Next question will come from Greg Allman. Hey, Bruce, I want to ask you about your offensive line and just them stepping up. Brady didn't get sacked. I think he only took one hit the whole game. Just what they did to, to make it easier for him today. Yeah, they, I mean, they took a lot of pride. You know, last week wasn't some of their best. I thought Donovan hurt his knee and went back in there and uh, played, looked like played pretty, pretty well against a good pass rusher. And uh, all those guys, that way we ran the ball in the fourth quarters um, is what we're, we're, we're looking for, you know, and they take a lot of pride in that. And, uh, yeah, I thought the tight ends and the offensive line blocked well today. Bruce, in, in terms of the things that allowed uh, Carolina to get back in the game, how concerned were you just by the number of drops and, and missed passes on the receiving end? Yeah, it's unusual. I think there are times we relaxed, and uh, we're not good enough to relax. Nobody in this league is good enough to relax, and we talked about it at halftime. We cannot relax. We go out, boy, defense gives us a turnover, we turn it right back, and it's a ball game uh, when we should have put that thing away in the first five minutes of the third quarter. Next question will come from Scott Reynolds. Hey, Bruce, did that drop by Grayson in the third quarter? Did that, that – uh stymied the offense a little bit and create a little bit of uh, lack of momentum? Yeah, that was a big one. Tom found him late, and uh, <laughs> the wind was wicked coming across that sideline and blew it across. And, uh, you know, one thing about Cyril, he's got great hands, and that's why he's in there. And, uh, you know, hit him in the head. And uh, th that, that play would have been a huge play for us, yes. And then also, can you speak to the play of your safeties today, Jordan Whitehead and Antoine Winfield making some big-time splash plays for you? Yeah, they both tackled well, and uh, that was big in this ball game. Uh, Jordan had a big interception. Um, Antoine just continues to make play after play and is in the right position. And uh, he studies the game, so he's in the right position all the time. Next question will come from Ira Goffman. Bruce, how refreshing to see the pass rush come up big like uh, today against a, a fairly mobile quarterback like Bridgewater. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, we had good rush, especially our interior guys. You know, they were they were focused on our outside guys a little bit. Uh, and our interior guys got a great push up the middle. And uh, uh, Sue, Golston, 
Vita had, I thought Vita got held a couple of times, but, uh, you know, nobody's throwing flags this year yet. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I thought the plus rush was good. Ira, I thought you were going to ask me about making that kick. <laughs> Not today, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we have time for a couple more. Next one will come from Greg Armin. Bruce, overall, in terms of just shifting the momentum back, you had tried to, to kind of make it clear last week it's just one game. How much does this kind of right things and set things back with a reset two, two games into the season? Yeah, it's, we're one and one. I mean, uh, it's 16 games. Like I just told the guys, are we going to practice? Are we going to show up any different this week because we won versus last week when we lost? No. We're going to come to work and, uh, and get ready for the next one and, uh, and play another really, really good football team on the road. Thanks, Bruce. Last question will come from John Romano. Bruce, you don't normally think of a guy who's been in the league for 20 years having a learning curve, but would you expect uh, to see Tom get better and better as he gets more and more comfortable with his receivers and with the offense? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt. You know, it's, it's going to take time. And, uh, you know, with having no preseason and all those practices we missed, um, <laughs> We're just growing day by day uh, with Tom and the, and the receivers and the entire offense. I think we'll just get better and better. We're nowhere near, I think, what we are in September, what I think will be in November. All right, that's all, Coach. Appreciate the time. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.